Well, I got the barbecue lit. That's an accomplishment. Yeah! Look what I have created! I have made fire! I have made fire! If you're not into comic books, you may not know who Bernie Wrightson is, but he recently passed away. This was a guy who was able to create stories with just a single image. And it was the person who inspired me to become a writer in many ways. It made me want to tell stories and capture the same mood and depth that he could create with his pen. If you haven't seen my previous videos, you'll know that I'm sort of jumping into this vlog. I'm not set up like Casey Neistat, so I don't have all the best equipment. I am getting something that's going to make these videos a little bit nicer for me to make and a little bit nicer for you to watch. I'm getting a Rode Micro Compact on-camera microphone. It should be a great addition to my vlog. You know they say, don't drink, don't drive, don't drink and then make phone calls to people, don't get stoned and tweet, especially when you happen to be a celebrity. Chelsea Handler, not a fan of Donald Trump, wrote, I guess one of real Donald Trump's sons is expecting a new baby. Just what we need, another person with those genes. Let's hope for a girl. Shortly after the fallout, she then tweeted, Sorry about spelling mistake. I meant genes, not gene. I'm a little stoned. What's your excuse? What? But just to add icing on top of this Twitter cake, there was one other tweet. I just want everyone to know that I'm currently in Paris, trying to make sure that they don't fuck up the election like we did ours. Well, <laughs> I gotta say, I didn't realize that she had that much power. Really, how arrogant are you going to possibly be? Okay, anyway. So one of the things people have a problem with is character development. In the book I'm writing right now, I've got two strong female characters, and they're in conflict. The question in my mind was, how do you write them without falling into the cliches of either being bitchy or being too masculine? With people having problems with political correctness, it's too easy to get wrapped up into that and trying to protect people's sensitivities. And when you try to do that, what happens is it muffles your writer's voice. You want to write a character that you feel is going to be the best one that you can express, that comes naturally from you. So, how do you handle it when you've got a strong female character, or even a weak female character? What are you going to do? What it all comes down to is this. Every character has got a personality, and that's what comes out. It's how they express themselves as who they are. If they have a strong personality, that dialogue is going to come out. Their actions and their expressions and how they behave is everything that's going to drive how your character works. And that's how you do it. You don't worry about, oh, is it too masculine? Is it too feminine? Is it too catty? Is it too gruff? Is it too... Don't even worry about that. It's the character and the personality that makes them who they are. If you try to write your character according to what's considered to be the norms for today, or what's correct and what's not correct, then you're going to write a character that is truly cliched because it's what everybody expects. You want an engaging character. Okay, so enough of that wind noise. Let's just summarize this. Throw away cliches, throw away political correctness, and create an individual personality for each character that's fully formed, 
That's going to drive their actions, and it's going to drive their words. That's the best tools that you've got. Go use them. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, leave one of these and a comment down below. Let me know what sort of things you'd like me to cover in future videos that I do about writing. Get to it.